We have a developing story out of Atlantic Canada. Airports in the region say they've been given notice by Air Canada. Some service will be cut or even eliminated next month. This would be just the latest round as the pandemic decimates air travel. Jeannie Lee joins me now with more. So Jeannie, what do we know? And you know, I guess you never know if anything is permanent, but maybe you know, describe how it's being characterized. Well, right now, it's being characterized as pretty grim, yeah. Andrew. Uh, first of all, we heard from the Atlantic Canada Airports Association, which represents airports in uh, about 12 uh, airports in four provinces, in Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI. And it says it's had notice from Air Canada today that effective January 11th, so a month and a few days from now, this is what's going to happen. Number one, there will be zero flights for Sydney and St. John, meaning no more service, Air Canada service, from those airports. There will be four route suspensions uh, that are characterized as indefinite. Two of them are in Halifax and Deer Lake, and the other two destinations affected would be Charlottetown and Fredericton. So now we're getting into some of the larger centers in um, in uh, Atlantic Canada, as well as smaller centers. And this is all on top of 11 routes that were cut in June, along with the shutdown of the Bathurst and Walbush Air Canada stations. So that already was a blow. But let's just focus on Sydney for a moment. There, the remaining flight uh, that was left, uh, Air Canada flight, from between Toronto and Sydney will no longer happen. And so the CEO of the airport in Sydney uh, just called this completely devastating, quote, a massive blow, absolutely catastrophic to Cape Breton Island, he said, because after all, that airport uh, brands itself as your Cape Breton Island gateway. And so here's what he had to say. Uh, Mike McKinnon is his name, and he said, our airport has been repeatedly slashed by air service cuts ever since the pandemic began, and now this, on top of the recent WestJet route suspensions. And he's talking, oh, sorry, um, and that is effectively the final nail in the coffin for air service to and from our community for the foreseeable future. So when he referred to the WestJet uh, suspensions, um, that was also recent, and that round brought um, an 80% cut to the service that WestJet normally provides Atlantic Canada. So you see one on top of the other. That's why the region right now feels uh, pretty um, uh, devastated in terms of mm -hmm. how it's losing these service, but also saying that cumulatively, this could, quote, spell the end of some of those small regional airports, in fact. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, uh, you know, Halifax to Cape Breton, it's a good four or five hour drive. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a distance. Uh, what does Air Canada say about this? Well, so far, nothing. And this was the thing. I went right away to Air Canada, contacted them to find out, uh, you know, confirm, deny, explain. And so far, I haven't had a response and nothing on the uh, Air Canada's website either. And, you know, we know, though, what Air Canada has had to say about this. Its CEO has said repeatedly that there has to be more help from Ottawa if... Um, you know, the airlines are going to survive this in a healthier way. And also uh, that would affect airports as well, because if airlines aren't doing well, then airports don't do well, etc. So maybe this is a part of um, an ongoing strategy here to get the message out, but not from the same uh, people. And this way, really, you're hearing from the operators of all those uh, smaller regional airports, especially saying, help us here, uh, mm -hmm. Ottawa. Uh, essentially, that message is, is, is being said today. And uh, reiterating, as you said, the importance of airports in terms of connecting communities, connecting families, businesses and the economy of course well you know we have just heard from air canada by the way this just oh, well. literally happened as we were speaking okay. Jeannie. so okay. yeah they they're saying that you know we've continued to experience significantly reduced traffic due to covid 19 so that's why they're suspending uh passenger operations to sydney st john beginning january 11th uh that this is a small subset of the 95 previously planned suspensions disclosed at the time of our third quarter results not you know it's not taken lightly it's increasingly difficult 
uh, Air Canada is still carrying less than 8% of its normal passenger volumes due to factors beyond our control with no horizon for recovery. In addition, Air Canada is temporarily, temporarily suspending yeah, you, the following services, and you mentioned them. Deer Lake to Halifax, Fredericton to Toronto, Charlottetown to Toronto, Halifax to Ottawa. So there you go. Um, and, that, and that's it. The airport authorities uh, that uh, spoke out today earlier uh, mentioned what Air Canada has also already said, which is mm -hmm. that economic statement of uh, last Monday, the Monday before uh, this Monday, um, so on the 30th of November, did not give enough in their minds to help the uh, airline industry specifically. And so mm -hmm. this underscores that. All right. Jeannie, thank you. You're welcome.